And there we go, we are in, and we have a new quest, the Rumored Alchemist. So that will be the new 1.2 version quest that I was talking about. So before we get started, give it a second. Hello, there we go. Before we get started, um, apparently there's new stuff in the shop. What's this? Hello? Uh, Kaya, Barbara, don't care. Hmm. Weird. It said there was new stuff in the shop. Maybe it's just regenerated Paimon's crystals. I don't know. Uh, we have characters, so let's see what's going on. Oh, weird. Everybody has new stuff. Why does everybody have new stuff? So, Jean Ling is level 62. With her capacity increased to 70. Her bell is louder than I remember. Uh, and she also has a level 70 weapon. Same goes for Fischl, level 70 weapon. And she's level 60, but she's enhanced to 70. Razor, 68, level 70 weapon. Barbara, level 60 weapon. I was working on that, but I could only get so far. And she herself is level 60, capped at 70. Me, 60, level 50 weapon. We uh, don't use my main character as much anymore now that I've found all the puzzle stuff. What is all this new profile information that I keep seeing? New audio, I think, yeah. Interesting. Anyway, Kaya. Weapon, 50-60, don't use them as much, and 60-60. Lisa was the one I was working in the background, and I almost had her ascended, too. As you can see, I'm only a couple crystals off. I was getting her ready just in case when I go into this area, my uh, original healing strategies didn't work because if I throw out Lisa's ult, it can sometimes heal just a little teeny tiny bit just because of the accessories I have on her. And her weapon is a 60. Uh, Xing Chou, 60, 70, 60 weapon. Noelle, level 60 weapon, and I might give it to Chung Yoon, we'll see. Level 50. That's the other thing about this quest, is that it has weapons. Uh, Chung Yoon, level 50. And only a level 25 three-star weapons. I need another Claymore. He's having a holdover, so if I need a nice character, then I will give him Noelle's. But, uh, they'll, they'll share weapons for now. Amber, 50. For weapons, 50. For level. <laughs> we may be needing Amber. We're going into the snowy wilderness. Amber? Wear some, uh, heavier clothing. <laughs> We're going into the wilderness, honey. And Beto is unfortunately still in the back of the pack at 30. And she does have a level 50. I suppose I could give that to Noelle and then give Chung Yoon the uh, other sword, but we'll see. So we've also got notices. I'm afraid to open this. And mail. One version 1.2 issue fixed compensation. We deeply apologize for the following problems. Uh, when fleeting sunlight, Klee triggers her passive talent. Blah, blah, it's normally interrupted. So they fix something with Klee. When gliding champion Amber triggers her passive talent, precise shot again while on the talent's already in effect. This duration will not reset. Mm, so there's an issue with Amber. I don't have Klee, so I wouldn't have noticed. And optimizations to other issues that disrupt the game experience. After mission issues have been fixed at present. And we get 300 Prima Gems for it. And there's also the 1.2 Routine Maintenance. That's it. Oh, that's Fixed Compensation and Maintenance. Dear Travelers, Routine Maintenance is complete. I remember getting almost kicked off for that. Here's to the compensation for the round of maintenance. Remember to claim it at a time. Done. 600 free Prima Gems. I'll take that. We have a new banner. Up at the top, I have another one, too. That's just notices for the event. Uh, okay, so let's go in to quests. So here it is. Traveler Observation Report. Thankfully, uh, you only have to be Adventure Rank Level 10 to access it. So you arrive at Timaeus' Alchemy Store in Mondstadt one day to stock up on adventuring supplies, but here you encounter altogether someone unexpected. So it's all the way back in Mondstadt. I thought it'd be in Liyue, but I guess not. Anyway, here we go. Is my controller making those beeps now?
I think they may have added some more sound effects to the controller. Yeah, the PS4 controller makes sound. So where is he? <gasps> Sucrose! Sucrose! Please come home. Huh. Looks like Timaeus isn't here today. Oh, we can do autoplay as well. That was one of the new features. I'm not going to do that simply because I like to talk in between. Customers? Oh, um, pardon me. Are you looking for Timaeus? No, no. Just strange for him to not be around. Paimon always sees him standing here. I see. He was called away by Albedo a little while ago. I was called over to attend to the store. I'm Sucrose, Albedo's assistant. If you have any alchemy-related queries, you could always ask me. I do my best to help. Again with, again with confidence. That's so rude. No need to be nervous. Huh? D do I look nervous? M my apologies. I don't get out too often. I'm usually in the laboratory where there aren't many others to talk to. You can come home and join my party. If you need any help, just call my name. If not, I'll... I'll be reading a book. Over there. Mm -hmm. Thanks. No worries. We're all clued up on the basics of alchemy, aren't we? I have forged so much stuff. Mm -hmm. No need to trouble you. I might need a refresher. Hey, aren't you the legendary traveler? The one who repelled storm terror? Legendary is a bit much. I don't even, I don't charge for autographs. Why am I such an asshole all of a sudden? Legendary is a bit much. I've heard so many stories about you. Always wanted an opportunity to research you up close. <laughs> what do you mean research? Uh, sorry, don't mind me. What am I saying? But still, you'd definitely be able to help Albedo. It is you after all. There's that name again, Albedo! Is he also an alchemist in Mondstadt? Uh, not a name I'm familiar with. I think I might have heard of him. Apologies. I never introduced him. Albedo is the Knights of Favonius' chief alchemist. He's also Timaeus and my teacher. But Paimon's only ever seen Timaeus teaching alchemy. So that means Albedo is a teacher teacher? Hey, get us go up the chain somewhere. Everybody has a teacher. Yes, he's dedicated himself to investigating the truth of this world and has made many an important breakthrough. We often get alchemists coming to Mondstadt from all over Tevat, seeking his help. They say that the subtlest of guidance from Mr. Albedo helps him to solve the most unfathomable of problems. Wow, Paimon didn't know he was such a big deal. Mm-hmm. Still... It seems that he's encountered a problem in his research recently. Every time I see him, he has a concerned look on his face. I'm not sure someone as smart as him could use my help. My knowledge of alchemy stops at basic crafting. It does, unfortunately. I'm sure that Albedo would love to hear about your incredible exploits. I know it would bring him lots of new inspiration. Albedo is a true gentleman. He'll be sure to pay you back in equal measure for helping him out. Well, that is part of the alchemic code, I would assume. Uh, can he make me stronger? Can he make Paimon stronger? Can he make me stronger? I don't see why not. Testing the limits of living beings' capabilities is one of Albedo's areas of research, after all. Albedo and Timaeus will be conducting research in the mountains right now. I'd love to take you both to see him, but somebody has to attend to the store. I'm afraid you'll have to go to the entrance to the pass and look for him by yourselves. Look out for a refined gentleman with the presence of a true scholar. And... Um, That's where to find someone. Find him by his aura. Sorry. That's the best I can do. And why is You'll the doggo? Do your best. Doggo is just sitting in the corner. Hey, stop worrying. We got this. She is so cute. Sucrose is a whole lot less nervous when she gets talking about alchemy and research, huh? Is that what all researchers are like? My apologies. I don't really know how else to describe him. If I could sketch you his portrait, I would. But my pencil strokes are no match for his. You could describe what he looks like, what he's wearing. Anyway, let's go and look for Albedo.
Mosquito. Head to the entrance of Dragon Spine. So my guess is it would probably be easiest to warp. Oh no, never mind. Never mind. I figured I was going to enter it from this side, but it turns out we're entering it from this side. So quickly before I go, I'm going to check in Add ass with Catherine and uh, get my characters off of exposi expeditions. So since I'll probably be doing this tomorrow, I'm gonna choose 12 hours really quickly. Otherwise, it's a waste of time. Okay, Amber. For free materials. It's free materials. And there we go. And now to warp. Oh boy. And since I don't really have healing characters that are probably gonna work in the cold, um, I might have to eat a lot of food. Oh, I don't have access to this one yet. Oh, we're gonna have to walk. Uh, here, I guess. And yeah, I know the uh, update technically launched last night and I saw other people starting it, but since I had real life drama, where? Here? I was unable to do it. Traveler, fancy meeting you here. I'm sure you're very busy, as always, but I need a moment of your time. Could you do this? Give this to Dr. Edith for me. I was planning to deliver it myself, but something else came up. And where is Edith? How far away? Oh my god. Why? Why am I such a sucker? Why? I'll be right back. Okay, here's your delivery. Give me my companionship experience. Here's your delivery. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, ex companionship experience. Uh, I could always use more of that. Nope. Okay, for real this time, I swear. So this whole area didn't exist before. I mean, part of Oath's Cape did, but up into here? This is new. You're able to see this mountain from the inn, the Wangshu Inn, but this is the first time we've even been able to go up this hill. And, naturally, there's hilly churls awaiting us, and another box! Brand new box! I still can't get over the fact that I have the companion animal build. I have pretty much every character except Diluc who has companion animals. Why is your shield not... Burn! And if you collect the chili on the field that it leaves behind, it increases your speed, I think. Because who needs to fight when you can just have your companion animals do it for you? Heck yeah, haven't seen a chest in a while. That's for dang sure. Sweet flowers, which are really heckin' important because sweet madames are some of the best things you can cook, ironically. And since I might not have a healer, it may be in my best interest to, you know, eat food. 
Ooh, you're high level. Are you guys hard guarding anything up here? Yep, new area. Brand new, don't know where I'm going. Hmm. Well, that was anticlimactic. I was expecting treasure, but no, I did not get any treasure. Of course, I'll be going up and down this mountain like a gazillion times in my own time. Oh, doggone it. <laughs> not you. You're not a flower. Although, surprisingly, a lot of people in the spanner use flowers. Or the upcamling banners, I should say. Uh, what's her name with the horns is not in this one, I don't think. She's in the next one. She's gonna be the next five star character. Wee! Give me your food. Give me all your food. Just a carrot. But yeah, since this waypoint isn't even activated yet, <laughs> it means. New spot. Why stop beeping? What are you beeping for? Quests. New quests. Where's the thing? Here it is. Poke this. And huzzah. We may now warp. Where the heck am I? What is up, Stevens? If only someone could help me out. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to be talking to myself like that. Oh, what's the matter? Well, here's how it is. I'm a researcher specializing in ancient history. Thanks to Miss Iris, I've received and read a truly enlightening document recently. She found it here in Dragonspine, and I believe that the mountain must be home to more lost texts. If we had more of them, I would definitely make progress in my research. Never mind weapons or ancient currency, these texts are the true treasure here. Uh, have you gained anything from your trip so far? Uh, don't get me started. Iris is far too busy, so I've had to scale the mountain myself. Almost lost my life in the process. Never mind finding any ancient texts. But I wouldn't say that I gained nothing from all this. I did find some other things, such as this crown. My guess is that this was left behind by those who once wanted to conquer Dragonspine. One can only wonder as to the trials and tribulations they must have encountered. I fear we can only discover a few things about the past through these relics. Uh, sorry if I'm rambling. I've already gleaned all I could from this item. From the looks of it, you must be an adventurer, so why don't you take this with you? Don't stand on ceremony. It's no use to me anyway. And what's more, I may require your assistance in the future, too. Hmm. Kind of an ancient hero. Broken rhymes echo. <laughs> that has an interesting significance now that we're playing World Ends with you. <laughs> Not to spoil anything. Hey there, frozen to the bone. Come and warm yourself back up with nice hot food. Ooh, interesting. Who are you? The name's Harris. I'm a chef and the person who built this camp. I came here to help the adventurers in the area to make sure they can get a bowl of hot soup at the end of a long day of adventure. I reckon there's no greater joy than the feeling of hot soup in your system when you're just about frozen stiff. The essence of the culinary pursuit is to bring people satisfaction and joy, is it not? It's a shame that lots of chefs have forgotten this. Personally, I was taught this simple principle by a young female chef who I met by chance while traveling in Leeway. Oh, you mean this one? <laughs> and yeah, he's so right. Hot soup after a cold day is amazing. I just recently made pea soup and it was good. Actually, a lot of my Twitter timeline is just me making soup. Whatever you're hungry for, just say the word. The weather's right for a piping hot meal. So we can get veggie radish soup, a steak, or jewelry soup. Interesting. So just in case you're like really, really, really low on health and you don't have any ingredients for some reason, uh, we can get food here. And my guess, yeah, we can also cook at the stove, which I have plenty of food right now, so I'm good. Ooh, get some, let's get out of the tree. Get some accessories. Iris. Excuse me, did you want something? It's so cold here. Then put some pants on! I'd actually really love to see some winter outfits for these characters. I think they'd look really cute. I know they said outfits may be coming in the future, not just gliders. I'd really enjoy that. Cold is the norm when you're up in a mountain like this one. 
You look like a traveler, so are you planning on scaling the mountain? Just have a look. Fair enough. I'm not going to try and stop you. I've met my fair share of travelers, and whatever you say, there's no dissuading them. All I will say is if you're serious about this, is to keep an eye on your body temperature at all times. If your temperature drops too low, not only would it slow you down, but you can also injure yourself. And if you're unlucky enough to get attacked by a monster in that state, well, that's the last situation you'd want to find yourself in. So if your temperature drops dangerously low, get yourself a source of heat and warm back up while you plan your next move. In short, and I know you've probably heard this plenty of times, but it's true, this is by far the most dangerous place in all of Mondstadt. When you're climbing a mountain, you must always plan your movements carefully. I've seen more than a few adventurers lose their lives because they don't think before they acted. All right, I won't lecture you any longer. Just be sure to prepare before you set out. Uh, how are things on Dragon's Spine? On this mountain? Well, I can only say it's more dangerous than any other place in Mondstadt. Apart from the harsh conditions, this mountain is also home to some strange ice. It's incredibly hard to break and will not melt when exposed to fire. Worst of all, a few roads have been blocked by this ice. Quite a few of our expedition teams have been forced to turn back after being blocked by ice barricades that they could not get around. I wonder when we're going to find a way to get rid of that ice. I'll have a look at it. You're just going to have a look, right? If so, I remember there was a large slab of ice of that kind on the mountain's outer boundaries. Who knows what's frozen inside it? We could have a look around here, but remember, it's not to come. It's best not to come this way again. Well, no worries about the fire because I got this cutie with me. We also have Amber. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> I may need to set myself on fire. Uh, so what can you tell me about Dragonspine? SAO Bridge Kirito. I have this great invention equipped called PANTS! Yeah, no no kidding. PANTS. It is true. The solution to this problem is indeed PANTS. Alfrey from the Intelligence Department says that Dragonspine has some sort of connection with the evil dragon that fought Dvalin in the past, though none of that really interests me. As far as I'm concerned, this is just a place worth adventuring in. One thing to note is that this place is most dangerous than any other place in Mondstadt. In this extreme cold, your first priority must be maintaining your body temperature. Bravery and foolhardiness are not to be equated lightly here. It's best to proceed with a plan, lest you lose your life in vain. Is this place very dangerous? I would strongly caution against venturing into these parts on a whim. Low temperatures, monsters, rugged terrain, everything here is far more dangerous than one would imagine. Here are some of my mo notes from adventuring in Dragon's Mind. Take them with you. I trust that they'll be of some use. Oh, these aren't notes. These are level up materials. Ooh, something, something, Cryus. Uh, what else with reason for here? Stay on your guard at all times. Um, that boy, Cyrus? Yes, yeah, Cyrus is my younger brother. We used to go on adventures together. You could say that we were quite the famous duo, too. But he has been tied down by all sorts of trivial matters ever since taking the role of branch master of the Mondstadt Adventurers Guild. We haven't traveled together in quite some time. I did receive an offer to become a guild branch master myself, but I refused. As far as I'm concerned, it's much easier to be a regular adventurer. You're his sister? Yes, we actually look quite alike, don't you think? As far as why he looks like he's from Mondstadt while I look like I'm from Liwei, it's a long story. Something to do with our parents. Okay, so you're half and half. Oh, do you mean to ask why I look younger than he does? There's no big secret behind it. It's just a matter of maintenance and attention. I bathe. He doesn't. Did you come to see did that boy Cirrus send you here on a commission? Okay, that's what she said. I didn't get to read that. I had to ask Wait, there's one more thing. Uh, so tell me about the ice. If you'd like to have a look at the ice, you can go to the place that I mentioned. For your own safety, don't go any further into mountain. Okay. So there is new quest. Find the ice, which apparently... I didn't hear them mention that in the live stream, that my claymore doesn't work. I'm cracking the ice. And if fire doesn't crack it, I don't know what will. Geo, maybe? Some sort of device that we're gonna get? Joel. Where is daddy gone? What's the matter? I, uh, hello, I, I can't find my dad. He said that he would come to pick me up and that we'd go watch the snow together, but the time we arranged has come and gone and he isn't here yet. 
I thought that must have found some rare and precious treasure map or something, which is why he hasn't come to find me yet. That has to be right, right? So I came to Dragon's Find by myself. If he's not going to come find me, then I'll go looking for him. Or so I thought. But I didn't find Daddy here either. That knight of Favonius over there said he'd headed off to the mountain summit. I want to go search for him, but the knight wouldn't let me, so I'm stuck here waiting for him to come back. But he hasn't come back at all, and I'm worried. If you could go up to Dragon's Find, could you help me look for him? He'll do it? Great. Let me think. The knight that Dad mentioned going to follow is in the snow-covered path upwards first. He then said he'd have her head over to the outskirts of the entombed city and have a look, before trying for the mountain summit. Please help me search these areas. He might still be near one of them. I mean, he promised that we'd go see the snow together. There's no way he'd break his promise. Well, that's sad. Well, that is heckin' sad. And it looks like mint, but it's weird. It's like all frosty. Oh, neat! They added effects onto the plants themselves? Oh my gosh, Jean Ling, just looking at you, you look cold. Sister Rosaria, so here you are. Choir practice is about to. I've told you already, I don't go in for that kind of thing. I've got more important matters to attend to. Oh, but this event has commemorative significance. The church hopes that all sisters will be present. Hopes? That's odd, because I don't recall a fulfill the hopes of others clause in my job description. I... Well, I mean, sure, but... But what? You're the event organizer, aren't you? Do you not find it the least bit odd? What do you mean? This far out from Mondstadt at this hour? <laughs> Even if you set out right now, I'll wager you'd still miss the opening ceremony. Hmm. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe this is someone's grand plan to make a fool out of you. Huh? Well, th that can't be! People aren't like that! <laughs> Evidence decides what people are like, not your feelings. <sighs> Maybe you're a little too trusting of other people. Don't fret, nobody's gonna blame you if you go back empty-handed. I can't imagine anyone else was delusional enough to think I was gonna show up. But if you dally any longer, you really won't make it. You're right. It's a very important commemorative event. If I'm late, then... Uh, right, I've got to get going. She looks like a unique character, but I don't see a vision on her, and every time this has happened, they've been a harbinger. Hmm. Seems like that nun's an expert in making people believe anything she wants. I thought I heard something. Who are you, and why are you eavesdropping? We'd better watch out. She seems like a dangerous villain. Or a trickster at best. Oh, really? I'm a member of the long-standing Favonius Church. You're an eavesdropping pixie from who knows where. And you think I'm the trickster? Wait, she heard that? Paimon was whispering so quietly. No, you weren't. And as for this outlander you seem to be following... Uh, huh. So it's you, the honorary knight that saved us from storm terror. Well then, given your status, I won't press you on your reasons for eavesdropping. Otherwise, depending on your answer, I could have arrested you on the spot. What? Do the nuns of Mondstadt have the authority to arrest people now? We can't go turning a blind eye to hidden dangers, can we? Why shouldn't sisters have a sense of justice? I mean, check out what's on her hands. She's already got some sort of weapon. Hmm. That doesn't sound right. But Paimon can't think of a good comeback. Let's talk about you. What are you doing in the mountains? Why do you care what I'm doing in the mountains? We're looking for Albedo. We're investigating the truth of this world. <laughs> but you're only a traveler. I doubt you have any great skill in alchemy. Whatever. I had a notion of who you were seeking. If it's him you're after, I made a point of noting his tracks. Many people have made their way up after the snowstorm. Let's hope they're still there. So, are you also looking for him? No, this is just a professional habit of mine. I sensed elemental traces in these tracks. Never hurts to be vigilant. But that means... 
you have a vision, but I don't see one on you. So either it's on like the right hand side of you, which I haven't got a glimpse of yet, or you're maybe using an artificial one. Uh, as far as nuns go, you're fairly mysterious. You're more like a detective. I couldn't care what you think. Come on then. I'd like to see what he's up to anyway. Mm, nope, I don't see one. Maybe on her back, Zaria but... Zaria said there were elemental traces in the tracks. They should show up pretty clearly with elemental sight. Oh, treasure hoarder who gave up. So cold, huh? Is someone trying to talk to me or is the cold making me delirious again? Okay, I guess I wasn't hoosting after all. What is it? Who might you be? Well, can't you tell I'm an elite member of the treasure hoarders? Got <laughs> you. Our boss reckons in this inhospitable mountain must be home to lots of treasure. And I was out to scout out the way. Never expected it to be this cold, though. You here for treasure, too? If you want to, I'm not going to stop you. But once you do, you'll know just how cold this place is. Uh, who might you be? This place is terrifying. I went up the mountains once. Not only did I find nothing, but I've basically turned into a popsicle to boot. Man, I could go for a bowl of hot soup right about now. Ah, uh, that's the good stuff. Can you smell that? There's a campsite just ahead. The chef there always makes making soup. I can smell it from all the way over here. Why don't you go have a bowl? I know what our reputation's like around here. Everyone thinks we're a bunch of reprobate crooks. Well, if that's what we are, then we should act the part. I'm an elite member to boot. How can I just act all meek and mild over a bowl of soup? Stop sneezing on me! A bowl of hot soup in this weather would be an Archeon send, no mistake. No, this is a matter of pride, a test of will. I will not give in. I cannot give in. Yeah, I, do people who don't live in cold, cold climates actually think, like, the cold makes you sneeze? Because it doesn't. What's over here? Oh, is there a white one? Oh, look at them. They're so cute. It's really cute, and I see treasure. I must grab it. Sorry. Detour. Yeah, the sound effects are a lot more pronounced. Not that that's a bad thing. You can't run from debt. Give me your treasure. Cool. So, yeah, there's going to be a new effect in this area, and you'll see it when we get to it, though I've probably already talked about it. See, Razor looks at least looks somewhat dressed for this. Everybody else looks like they're gonna freeze. I mean, I've seen some other outfits that they've drawn for, like, um... What is it? The thumbnail covers for, like, the making of the game. So, it'd be really cool. Ooh. L1, hold the button to open the shortcut wheel and view the details of the sheer cold effect. Uh, characters in the Sub-Zero climate will continuously accumulate sheer cold. When sheer cold reaches its limit, they will start losing HP. Bonfires and other sources of heat will diminish sheer cold. Certain conditions like snowstorms and actions like swimming will accelerate sheer, sheer cold's accumulation. So, oh, I see. It's building even as I'm looking at this. See that bar right above my HP? <laughs> Look at their little ice slimes! I wonder what happens if I, uh... I'm sorry, friend. Interesting. Let me guess, that's probably one of those things that'll <laughs> mess me up more. Nice and, spicy. and if I stay here... I see. It warms me back up. So, I remember there was a... Not like that. There was a mod in Skyrim that was like this. Oops. <laughs> Get them. Where, uh... The longer you stayed away from a campfire, the more you likely you were to get cold. So I've got to be really careful with my healing. Because all of my healing is water-based. Which also means potentially freezing my butt off. That sounds vaguely inappropriate. Look at all this free 
experience. Oh my god. It's like Christmas. Rhyme worn. Rhyme worn fragment. Say that ten times fast. Rim rim rum rum rum. Loot. Yes, I haven't seen treasure chests in forever. Ah, interesting. Oops, not that. Where does it not stay lit? Or did I blow it out? Anywho? Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff to explore. I hear wolves. I see new butterflies. Crystal claws. Whatever the heck this thing is. A challenge! It's a trial marker. Hmm. I'm going to... Wait, yes. I'm gonna set my navigation to here. First things first. I need to... Oh, wait. I have an aura on me. Do I use it for this? I'm so confused. I thought it was an item, but maybe not. That must not be the ice she was talking about, because that opened up right away. You know, little pixie, Ooh. your ability to appear and disappear at will is very interesting. Uh, yeah? After committing a crime, you'd be able to leave the scene without a trace. You're so suspicious. Why is Paimon a criminal in your example? Interesting. So Paimon's actually doing that, and it's not just a... A game mechanic. Seriously, do I actually pick this stealth up or... Or what? I know, but that's actually a thing. Which implies that Paimon really is manipulating um, something like space. Because I have my suspicions about Paimon. Like, what is she really? Nothing says getting rid of sheer cold like literally standing in flames. And this one is a gun. An actual gun. This is bad. Technology has progressed to the point we got guns. Yeah, Paimon is a uh, demon of bargains. Which is funny, because the shop... What is this new sound? Is it coming here? The... The menu makes beeps now. Wait, let me take my headphones up. No, it's not from the controller. It sounds like it's from the controller, but it's not from the controller. Sorry, new things that I'm noticing. Paimon also looks rendered ever so slightly differently, like her color is slightly different. Uh, here we go. You mentioned that she is the demon of bargains, but her store is literally called Paimon's Bargains. Just gonna point that out. Who wants soup? Oops, good job. You put the fire out. So there we go. Let's heal. Apparently I can heal as long as I'm next to fire, so that's good. But I might have to take a little bit of my time while going through this area. Just to give myself a chance to heal my characters. Because I think I said it accelerates it when I'm not next to a fire, so... Oh, I don't 
doesn't seem to be too bad, actually. It does apply to all my characters, though. Oh! Oh my gosh! That was realistic! Do it again! The snow, the way the snow fell off the tree. I've never seen anybody actually animate that before. New enemy. Ooh, it's getting colder and colder. Rosaria, aren't you freezing? Me? <laughs> I'm alright. I got used to operating in adverse conditions a long time ago. Uh, seems like there's more to being a nun in the Favonius Church than Paimon realized. I guess I must have to... There we go. Oh, shit. I'm curious if being on fire slows the effects of sheer cold. Uh-oh. Light me on fire! Oh, it doesn't work! It doesn't work! Lighting me on fire doesn't work. Interesting. I thought that was going to work. It does not. For some reason, it only works inside torches and not when I'm, like, literally burning. I couldn't burn at all, actually. I don't know if that's an effect of this area with how cold it actually is, or if it is a glitch. Either way, I'm gonna have to hurry up. The blocks of ice, can you see what's stuck inside? No, I cannot. Oh, that's interesting looking. Uh, do I have time to check it out? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, it don't burn. Yep, she don't burn. Oh, shit. That's not good. New enemy. Hello. Frost Arm Law Churl. So it's an ice hill of churl. But very big. Oh my gosh. Your health. You have lots of health. Level 47? Good thing I leveled up. Ow, ow. Where is he? Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow. Bird. Okay, I had to take care of that shield. Now I can hurt him. New enemy! Don't know what I'm doing! Break this. Got him. What? Prime Warren Crystal. A big one. Well, I'm taking a beating. You know, play this game for a day and you take a heckin' beating. You're cold in the area. Let's get up to this thing. Use your elemental sight to follow Elbido's tracks. Oh, there's also a little fire sealy. They're red now. The other ones were all like blue. But this one has an element. Hello, friend. I think you might be taking me off-road here, but... I think you can also stand here, because they radiate warmth. So unlike the torches, I won't constantly keep blowing them out. Thank you, friend. Small little fire spirit. While I drip healing all over you. But yeah, I can really hear the sound effects now. 
Like the little drips coming off of my uh, healing spell. Yeah. He's got ice shields. These are different. Boof. Boof. Uh, is that an ice slime? Did you throw an ice slime at my face, sir? Achievement completed. Turn over. Not sure what that's for, but okay. I'm gonna run out of slots again. Question being... Let the show be do I, uh, have enough slots to, uh... Do I have enough money to level up my accessories on my brain? Actual hawk sounds. Do I have enough money to level up and use my accessories or am I gonna be screwed? Oh, Flamer? I broke it last time. I heckin' broke it last time! Why not this time? This one's just like healing, man. Okay, maybe later. Maybe later. This is such peaceful music for a death mountain. Uh, hello? Start? Do I need some of these red stones to power it? Do I need to be glowing red to do it? Yeah, I do! I see. Weird. Now what? Oh. I guess that answers that question, don't it? So did we accomplish anything, or did we just cause destruction? It drained a pool. <laughs> anything down here? Ooh, interesting, it's all red. Ooh! Frostbearing tree, crimson agate. Uh, when exploring the dragon spine region, you'll Sometimes find some kind of crystallized substance known as crystal agate. Offering these crimson crisp <laughs> it's late. Offering these crimson agates to frostbearing trees may yield yet rich rewards. Okay. If you say so. And nothing says finding cultural history like destroying it. This is a record of serial number. Who five seven one oh four? Thirty-two, thirty-two, three, two, two, three. Hmm. Weird. There's also like an accessory down here, but I don't really have time to explore you right now. I gotta get my booty toasty before it freezes and I lose it. I don't wanna lose my booty. As a fire sealy. Rescue me, friend! So, yeah, it's kind of like Breath of the Wild, except in Breath of the Wild, I think you got pants. Oh, please don't be encased in ice. Please don't be encased in ice. I'm screwed if you're encased in ice. Oh no. Nice and spicy. Oh shit. By royal decree. Houston, we have problem. How did it crack before? I guess we're going in the dark. <laughs> well, 
shit, I don't know how to fix this. <laughs> Alright. Where were we prior to this? Uh, a ways. <laughs>